All right, we are in the final countdown. Ash Wednesday is less than 24 hours away. Many of us are celebrating Fat Tuesday where we're eating that rich food and the things that we're gonna be giving up for Lent. It's our last chance to eat it before we enter into that 40 day journey that we know of Lent. Tomorrow with Ash Wednesday marks the beginning of a beautiful liturgical season. And so let's make sure we understand some basic things about Ash Wednesday and the Lenten season. First and foremost, Ash Wednesday is not a holy day of obligation in the United States. But it is a day that we, a lot of us, choose to go to Mass to receive those ashes. Those ashes we receive are actually burned from the palm branches that we received last year during Palm Sunday. And those ashes remind of us of a couple things. When they put the ashes on our forehead, they're in the sign of the cross, right? Those ashes are actually a reminder of us that we are from dust and to dust we shall return right? Our eternity is with God in heaven. It's not supposed to be here in this world. At the same time, ashes are a sign of repentance and calling ourselves a sinner. And yet it's made in the sign of the cross telling us that Jesus Christ, our Savior, died on the cross for our sins, right? And so we are mindful of that. And that's why we wear those ashes in a cross on our forehead. Also on Ash Wednesday, as well as Good Friday, we are called to fast. And this is for all Catholics age 18 to 59. This means one mil and two smaller mills that don't equal a full mill. And so this is what we call when we say fasting. Now we could choose to do a, a greater fast where we say we're only gonna have bread or water, we're only gonna eat a peanut butter sandwich or something to that nature, and we have that choice to do that. At the same time, on all Fridays of Lent, as well as Ash Wednesday, we are called to abstain from eating meat. And this is a reminder that we don't enter into eating the flesh because Jesus Christ gave up his flesh on that day when he died on the cross. And so those are gonna be some of the basic standards of Lent. We're also called during the season of Lent to a 40 day journey. Now this 40 day journey is modeled off of Jesus Christ when after his baptism, he went into the wilderness to fast for 40 days and he was tested in the wilderness. This is actually modeled off of Israel as he was perfectly living what Israel struggled to do when they wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. And so we enter into a liturgical season of Lent for 40 days. And once again, this doesn't include the Sundays, but these 40 days, we are supposed to draw closer to God. We should look different come Easter Sunday than we did on Ash Wednesday. And if the only difference is we've lost 10 pounds because we gave up eating sweets, We've done Lent wrong. We should be spiritually different. And so you and I need to be mindful that during the season of Lent, we enter into those practices known as praying, fasting, and almsgiving. And we create a battle plan, a strategy for our spiritual growth. And so I truly wish you a blessed season of Lent. I, I pray that you're able to come up with a plan for your 40 day journey and that God may guide you so that you may draw closer to him as you draw closer to the cross during this season. God is love. Let the kingdom know.